Hi and welcome to a new Decred News Update. I'm your host Exodus and we're going to be going over some of the newer developments in the Decred ecosystem from Politea, consensus changes, development updates, uh, community media. It's all going to be here so let's dive right into it. For well over one month, Decred stakeholders have been enjoying the new staking rewards from the subsidy change which occurred on May 8th. 80% of the block reward is now going to those locking their coins in Decred's hybrid proof of work proof of stake mining system. Decred now offers a competitive staking yield of 8.5% per year, all while allowing users to retain custody of their coins, meaning there is no risk a centralized party can steal their funds. Stakers of course provide security to the network, vote on consensus changes, Politea proposals, and how the treasury funds are managed. Stakeholders using Decrediton vote in the governance tab. All outstanding legacy unrevoked, expired and missed tickets have now been revoked Thanks to the consensus change automatic ticket revocations, a total of 1,719 tickets representing 176,000 Decred has now been unlocked. The algorithm that determines the maximum monthly spend from the new treasury was fixed and no longer interferes with making monthly payments to contractors. This resulted in the first treasury spend using the new treasury rules to go up for vote and be approved by Decred stakeholders. A total of 2,426 DCR was paid out for the month of May's work. This transaction is available on the Decred Block Explorer. Thanks to the explicit versions consensus change, nodes now reject newer transaction versions they can't handle, and explicit consensus upgrades are now required to define and allow newer versions. It will be easier and less error prone for all participants in the Decred ecosystem to integrate with future consensus changes. Decred 1.7.3 is here for Decrediton. Users can now fetch the VSP fee transaction hash and fee status in transaction details. Improvements have been made to ticket status and ticket history views. Now the tabs remember their scroll positions after coming back from the transaction details page. The tickets revoke functionality has also been removed from Decrediton. Now that revocations are created automatically, there is no need for wallets to handle it. Electron, which is the framework Decrediton is built on, has been bumped to version 17.4.2 to fix an issue that prevented the wallet from launching on macOS 10.15, which is Catalina. The DCR Dex is a non-custodial exchange for trustless peer-to-peer -peer trading, powered by atomic swaps, has added support for accelerating Bitcoin transactions using child pays for parent fee bumping techniques. The orders page will also show a button if the order is able to be accelerated. A button has been added to the wallets page to recreate the Bitcoin SPV wallet in case it gets corrupted. Harness testing on testnet for the ETH client is now allowed. Developers also added methods for calculating the median fee of the most recent blocks in Bitcoin, Doge, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. They also implemented a cache to prevent repeated scans between blocks and a fallback if there's not enough data to estimate the fee. There have also been updates to newer modules from BTC Suite and Go-Ethereum. The auditing firm InterFi Network reviewed the DCR DEX's Ethereum smart contract source code and gave it a near perfect score. The verdict was Decred DEX's solidity source codes have low risk severity and the Decred DEX's centralization risk correlated to the active user is null or zero. Ethereum pairs are coming and will be on the DEX before we know it. DEX developer Buck even started a thread on Twitter asking what people would like to see. There have also been some discussions around the DEX's branding, specifically if we should change the DEX name to something else. This spawned a Reddit thread with some interesting discussions. On Politea, a number of bug fixes have been made to the back end, including fixes to error messages and proposal start dates. The homepage sidebar, external link module, and navbar have been re-implemented into the new GUI plugin architecture. GoDCR 1.7.0, a new lightweight SPV wallet for Decred has been released. Written in Go as an alternative implementation to Decrediton, this new framework will also enable a streamlined and consistent approach to porting wallets across platforms including iOS and Android. A new GitHub repo of DCR Lightning Network liquidity provider daemon has appeared. This liquidity provider allows remote clients to request the associated node to open a Lightning Network channel back to the requesting client. This allows the requesting clients to have some inbound bandwidth to receive Lightning Network payments. This would solve an annoyance users have when trying to create Lightning channels, the initial liquidity needed to get up and running. Furthermore, Android and iOS wallets were updated to version 1.7.0 and released. 
And now let's check out what the community has been up to. Jobs on Blocks is a new website that seeks to help people find work to be paid in cryptocurrency and to help employers hire others to be paid in crypto. Decred is a supported coin on the platform. Decred project lead Jay Kukumpaya was interviewed by Inves. There was this big debate over block size and then the SegWit, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is it, consensus uh, changes. And what, what happened there is basically that miners are the only governance system that, that really exists for Bitcoin. And what it came down to is the miners didn't want to change anything. And then everyone else who's a Bitcoin user did want to change things. So they had really a, a, a crisis of governance where the way they chose to resolve that crisis was to go, listen, we're just going to run roughshod over the miners because the miners aren't doing what every, pretty much everyone else wants. And then we, we activate that change via a user activated soft fork. And what, what we did with Decred is we, we sort of saw where that ship was heading well before there was such a, you know, a contentious con, you know, consensus change. And so we, we changed our consensus system so that it's a hybrid of proof of work and proof of stake, where the proof of stake is the component that decides what does and does not happen in terms of the consensus rules. So instead of it being, you know, uh, proof of work miners bickering with, you know, normal users and people who operate economic nodes and then the core developers, there's a very clear dispute resolution uh, system that we have and we do that via proof of stake. So these are the sorts of things that, you know, that's the first thing that we did in terms of extending Bitcoin and going past there to, uh, you know, to create more sovereignty for the user. And then we kept that process going by, by we took a treasury, uh, decisions over how the treasury is budgeted and what uh, how the treasury uh, funds are spent are now a function primarily of what the stakeholders say. The channel Voscoin spoke about how coins like Decred are moving away from proof of work mining. Sad to see a project moving away from proof of work, but that is what happens when miners don't support the project. It's a reoccurring theme. You don't see projects launching on proof of work mining anymore because we kind of live in an era of way too many miners are are acting like leeches these industrialized mining farms are cash businesses with cash backers they don't give a fuck about this coin they want to get a bunch of miners they want to make a bunch of money and that, that's kind of it decred was presented in casablanca morocco by the decred arabia team the brazilian community was active at the bitcoin conference helping spread decred in brazil Invest covered the change to majority proof of stake, which was syndicated to Bitcoin Insider and Crypto News. The GoDCR release was covered by Crypto Ninjas and eCrypto News. Thanks to Mond PR for securing this media and more. We also had Decred lead developer Dave Collins on the Decred State of the Market live stream. If Decred had an SEO score that instead, instead ranked ease of running, OS compatibility, speed to sync, speed to scan, hardware requirements, 30 day bandwidth, etc. Do you think it would rank in the top three? I think it would probably be number one. Okay. I'd say that without any kind of, uh, you know, not just any bias. I mean, when you actually take all those uh, factors into consideration, and I have tested essentially every uh, coin in the top 40 at some point, and uh, the, the Decred software, specifically DCRD, when it comes to syncing, it beats them all, it, particularly when doing the full sync, uh, you know, handily. We constantly see people claim that, you know, for example, the Decred doesn't support smart contracts, which isn't true, it does. Kind of the, the thing that we don't necessarily have is, is an easy way for people to uh, make use of, of the, the, the features that are available, kind of like a platform type thing. So, you know, as far as projects are concerned, uh, something like uh, RGB, for example, uh, which uh, you can look it up if you want to, but essentially it's the ability to uh, do more um, smart contracts or more Ethereum style smart contracts, we'll put it that way. However, it's done in a way that isn't directly on chain and it kind of goes back to what I was talking about before about how you, it keeps the data separate and off chain and allows everybody individual. So um, so that, I think that would be the big one, RGB. Decred Society has new videos on the Decred Block Explorer. Each block contains a massive amount of information. This information has been permanently stamped on the blockchain and can be accessed at any time. Individual blocks on their own will build up a small picture of what's happening on chain. But when you put all of these blocks together, the picture tells a much bigger and interesting story. Charts let you build impressions of performance for now, the past, and for the longevity of a project. Decred only needs a fraction of the proof of work to be equally as secure, approximately 10 times less hash power. This is due to its hybrid proof of work proof of stake protocol. 
Another interesting factor on the Decred blockchain is the difficulty gets adjusted every 12 hours or 144 blocks. In comparison to Bitcoin, where the adjustment happens roughly every 14 days or 2016 blocks. The aim here is to make sure blocks are being produced at a constant rate. In Decred's case, as close to five minutes as possible. Decred's proof of stake is a counter security mechanism to mitigate against the potential bad behavior of miners. It's also used as the governance mechanism for consensus changes and treasury spending. I tend to look at the ticket pool value and the stake participation charts together. And when they're overlaid, you can see the percentage of the coin supply staked alongside its DCR value. For the health and security of the Decred protocol, I would expect the participation to be between 40% and 60% of the supply. Above 51% makes the chain extremely difficult to attack as long as the tickets are well distributed. In terms of stake participation, this has been above 40% since July 2017, which shows a large portion of the holders are in this for the long haul. And based on the recent consensus change, in the short term, I can see this level going up to over 70% which will squeeze the coin supply even further. This is largely due to ticket holders restaking rather than selling, which is a side effect of the current high stake and reward. Now onto network stats. The current ticket price is 222 Decred, just over 5,000 US dollars. We have hit a new staking all-time high of 64.72%. The hash rate seems to have stabilized around 80 to 90 pay to hashes after the subsidy split consensus change. The treasury is now over 800,000 Decred and ever growing. The exchange rate is around $23 and coin supply is over 14 million with 61% of the circulating supply mixed, which is another all-time high. And now let's look at Politea proposals. Politea is Decred's proposal platform to request funding from the Decred DAO. We recently had some proposals finish voting and some new ones that are currently being voted on. The Decred Journal in Politea Digest 2022 proposal was approved with 99.6% yes votes and a 56% voter turnout. This proposal requests a maximum $33,000 to publish both the Decred Journal and Politea Digest. The Decred Journal is a monthly recap of everything happening within the Decred ecosystem. We dig through the Decred developer repositories on GitHub to deliver readers the most in-depth coverage of Decred's development, governance, and other aspects. The Politea Digest is a summary of what is happening on Politea. The Decred Bug Bounty Program Phase 5 proposal was approved with 99.2% yes votes and a 56% voter turnout. This proposal requests a maximum budget of $105,000 to fund 18 more months of the Bug Bounty Program. This program allows the Decred project to make use of external talent to find security vulnerabilities in the Decred codebase. Over 200 bug reports have been processed since the program started in January 2019 and 21 security vulnerabilities have been fixed as a result. A total of $10,154 have been paid to reporters and Decred. The most notable change is that the bounty is now being managed by Decred developer Jay Holdstock instead of Digiri. The Decred content and asset translation proposal phase 3 proposal passed with 98.8% yes votes and a 56% voter turnout. This proposal requests $20,000 to continue with translation work on various Decred media like the Decred Journal, Decred.org, and Decred Software. The Decred Uni Events proposal was rejected with 47% yes votes and only a 6% voter turnout, meaning the proposal did not reach quorum. A minimum of 20% voter turnout is required. This proposal requested a budget of $3,575 to run three events at universities in Uganda in summer of 2022. The GoDCR Golang Desktop and Mobile Wallets proposal requests $250,000 in Decred for the continued development of GoDCR and mobile wallets over the next 12 months. GoDCR is a new lightweight SPV wallet for Decred. Written in the programming language Go, as an alternative implementation to Decrediton's Electron version. This new framework will also enable a streamlined and consistent approach to porting wallets across platforms, including iOS and Android. Check out the overview video on this channel to learn more about GoDCR and download it for yourself using the link in the video description. The Decred Brazil Marketing, Communication and Content Production 2022 proposal requests $22,000 to promote Decred in Brazil by making use of social media, attending events, creating videos, and making podcasts. Contributors have already been active at various crypto events in Brazil and have been consistently using the Brazil social media accounts to promote the project. This proposal ultimately seeks to reactivate the Brazilian community, hoping to attract new developers and growth. 
Brazil is the largest and most populous country in South America, making it an important region to grow Decred. And finally, the Decred Magazine proposal is in discussion. This proposal requests a budget of $34,000 for one year of content creation on the magazine's website, decredmagazine.com. Decred Magazine will serve as a hub of Decred content curated from various platforms for the community to enjoy in one place. It will also feature originally written articles and art. The platform uses open source technology and any content delivered will also be free for reuse. Topics include Decred news pieces, economic and current event pieces that highlight Decred strengths, Decred markets and analysis, and development articles. Check out decredmagazine.com to get the best insight into what this proposal will offer. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to follow Decred on Twitter and check out decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.